Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a bonus love reading for the sign of Capricorn. A timeless reading just because Capricorns, you have been amazing in championing this channel, pushing it forward with all your likes, your subscribes, your comments. So this is a little thank you a little gratitude for your help building this channel, Capricorns. Let's get started. This is Timeless Love Messages. Eight of Pentacles. All signs are up, Capricorns, if you're interested. All signs are up for general readings for the month of May, if you're interested in taking a look at those. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, The Emperor. Eight of Wands. Move this over a little bit. Temperance. Capricorn in love. Five of Cups. King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. All right, Capricorn. Again, these are time, this is a timeless love reading, not gender specific. Let's see what messages we have for the sign of Capricorn. You have two major arcana, Capricorn, the Emperor and Temperance, which is interesting, and two Aces. Wow. Um, the Eight of Pentacles tells me that you have been working hard at trying to find balance in your love life. You have had unexperience or experiences in preceding relationships or in this relationship, the end of this one you're in now where you are stuck. You're not happy. Uh, this point, this person has disappointed you. This person, you're, you're, you're pretty much pessimistic, five of pentacle, uh, five of cups about this relationship. So if this is not something in the past, this is a situation, uh, a relationship or love connection you are in now that is not satisfying you that is leaving you feeling um, a, 
is stuck in the energies, right? Not understanding why you are with this person anymore and not being comfortable with this person anymore. Probably, probably doesn't have to be. Don't shoot the messenger. Probably because this person was disappointing. This person um, could have cheated on you, could have just disappointed you. doesn't have to be cheating, right? But it's just a moment it, where you understand that this person is not made for you. You're not made to be together, right? Um, and you're, you're, so if you're, af, if you're past that, these are energies that you are dragging through a little bit towards the end of, towards the end of the relationship after it ended, right? Trying to work on, I believe it has ended, and if not, it will end soon. Trying to, trying to find your balance, find your inner, inner uh, alignment in one understanding why this didn't go well, why you were feeling so uncomfortable. It doesn't mean something bad happened. You were just not feeling comfortable in this relationship or you're not feeling comfortable in the end of this relationship. And you want, you need to uh, understand how, how to get out of it, right? What is not serving you and to, um, move on to something else and move on to something that corresponds to you. And you're also understanding that you yourself have to work on yourself to align yourself on your values and what you want in life, what you want in the next step and how you want to be, how you are sort of working on yourself, reconstructing yourself, realigning yourself on your new needs, your new wants, your new desires, your new goals in life, on the type of person you want to be with and the type of person you are. Because the temperance just says, um, let go of the energies of the past, let go of those energies of the people that didn't correspond to you, that relationship that didn't correspond to you, and work on yourself, work on the things that you have understood, which is beautiful, that you have understood that it had to be done, that you had to reflect, realign, and uh, reassess yourself because you, you want to be that better person entering this new, beautiful energy here, um, Capricorn, that is a new love, right? So you're ready. You're ready to... Uh, I'm surprised you didn't have the world card. Maybe it'll come back as uh, we dig deeper. I'll pull more cards. But you are entering a phase once you realize that it wasn't for you and get out of that energy and um, uh, reemerge as your new self, as your new desires and you, your new goals and your new wants in life, including relationships enters this amazing human being here with this energy. Now, again, not just gender specific, but, hmm, do I, I, I just did a bonus. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn. And I just did one for Scorpio because you have been both delightful, amazing human beings in pushing my channel forward. And I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Um, and I believe, I believe uh, Scorpios had these same energies, Emperor and uh, King of Pentacles. Not sure. We'll have to check on that. But you have this person that is very, very powerful coming into your life, um, Capricorn. You, It can be you, but since we do have the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, I really believe this is someone coming in powerful, um, um, it is a person, not gender specific. It is a person very, um, comfortable in life, very powerful in their environment, in their life, can, can be a leader, can be a boss, can be a, um, uh, someone important in their field, someone very, um, a, an expert in their field, in their environment. It can also be, a 
father figure, brother figure, uh, mentor figure, right? Does not have to be that. But since we're, we're, we're reading into your love relationship and your love energies, this is a person that is coming into your life to, to offer you, offer you an opportunity, offer you abundance. This is someone that has financial security, uh, financial uh, long-term security, right? That is offering you a sense of, of sec financial security, celebrating you. Four of Wands, you're celebrating, can be marriage. This can be leading to marriage. This is at least family celebrations coming together and celebrating it can also be moving and since you have the the eight of wands it can be moving with this person moving towards this person or, or moving with this person we'll pull more cards but definitely coming in this person uh who's very powerful in all ways uh can be older than you Again, not gender specific, but this person can be older, very wise, very, um, yeah, can own their own business, can be uh, um, in a, you know, uh, uh, in, in someone that can be in a manager position, right? I'm not saying you're working together, although you could be working together. This can be someone, and it is, this does resemble the Scorpio reading, if you want to take a look at that, if ever you have a Scorpio in your life or you want to cross watch or, or anything, if you connect to Scorpio, you might want to check that out because this is both love and opportunity related. This person is coming in to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, which is going to be, um, a, a long term, uh, a long term opportunity, a long-term financial stability, um, really getting into this beautiful relationship and starting a new life together. Uh, your life is turning around and it's love and financial both together, manifesting abundance, whatever you wish for. You, you, I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is bringing, bringing it into your life. And you're, this is quick this is someone coming into your life pretty quickly eight of wands can also mean moving you know moving countries moving towards this person uh, both moving to a different location you know and starting your life together interesting very interesting um let's let's pull some more cards here okay this Um, I'll pull cards on this emperor here. Why is this emperor here for, for Capricorn? Clarify the emperor, please. Clarify the emperor. Yes, coming in quickly. Knight of Swords, someone coming in quickly, charging in quickly in all their power, all their glory. They want things to happen quickly. They want to move forward with you very fast. The Knight of the Knight of the Knight of Swords can have a little vibe, a little energy of impatient, wanting things to be done yesterday, right? Wanting to be together right away, moving forward right away, um, starting a new life quickly, you know, uh, getting married quickly. Um, it is someone that's impatient to make this happen which is a little contradictory with the emperor, who emperor, although the emperor is someone very powerful, right? Doesn't mean he does not, he's stagnant. He, she, remember not gender specific, not doesn't mean this person is stagnant and slow and no, no, no. This person is very powerful, um, very successful in whatever they're doing and coming into your life very quickly. And the knights are all about action, right? They are about moving forward, moving in a different direction. And if it's not in a different direction, it is taking action. 
and um, taking action to um, move to start a new life with you, to start a new journey. But it's it's the the knight the knight of swords is very assertive, right? And and um, as I said, a little impatient, but very focused at the same time. Focused on exactly one of the what they want, what they want. They're daring, they're ambitious, and a little obsessive, borderline obsessive, of wanting you at all costs, wanting to start this new life with you quickly right? Build together, build a family, move in together. And I do believe that might, this might be, again, similarities with the, uh, with the Scorpio reading, starting a business together, starting a project together, starting a, an opportunity. You both have an opportunity together. I believe that this person is offering you this opportunity, offering you this, this um, work opportunity, and at the same time, starting a love connection. And it is really, really someone full of energy. And there's no, there's no stopping this person, right? They, they, they don't care about challenges. They don't care about what it takes. They don't care about the energy it takes to sweep you off your feet and start a new life with you and offer you this wonderful new life it it might be challenging right there might be you might have to move you might have to leave a job you might have to leave a career you might have to leave a country right to move in together or start a new journey with this person but they're all for it they're going to make this happen and they want it to happen let's see what is um this ace of pentacles all about why is the Ace of Pentacles here for this love reading for the sign of Capricorn? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, it has, it has been a long journey. It has been a long journey coming. This person has been thinking of you, reflecting on how this was going to happen, reflecting on how they were going to come into your life, reflecting on how they were going to construct this and manage this and, and, and um, make these goals happen, right? Uh, they have long thought. This has been long thought. And that's why when they do come in, they swiftly want to make it happen. Wow. Yes, I'm going to put this over here. So, yes, there has been conflict. I don't know if it's with you. I don't believe so. But I believe that this person was in conflict, was in difficulty mentally, right? An ego, an ego driven um, hmm, uh, thought, right? That they had to win at all costs, that they wanted to win at all costs. Although it can be this, it can be related that they want this to happen. They've truly manifested you. They truly want you in their life and they truly want to move forward in a total different journey with you, you know, starting something completely new. It, they might have had confliction. They might have had, uh, you know, difficulties as well before they come into your life to invite you to embark on that journey. It is possible, but they, they, you I want to say they, but look at this third ace, third ace. They have a breakthrough moment. I want to see they because this is on their, this is on their journey. Because they had difficulties, because they had a moment in their life where things were not aligning, they had difficulties in work. They, they, I think they had conflicts, right? Where they, were they weren't feeling. They need to be the leader. They need to be um, on top of the mountain, on top of their game. They need to be the boss. And if they're not the boss, they feel that they lose their power. 
And they had a moment in their life where they understood that no matter what, you had to be in their life and they could boss up with you. They could regain their energies with you and understand that coming into your life, they have this breakthrough that you're, you're their person. You are the one to start this journey with. You are the one to move to the next step and construct a new life together. Because you have the Ace of Cups, love, and the Ace of Swords, clarity, breakthrough, understanding that this is it, understanding that life is too short to wait and wait and wait, right? And whatever issues were entangled before, sort them out and move forward because they were no longer suited anyway and that didn't belong, right? That didn't belong in that energy. That they they want to move forward and they want, they know that you are the one to move forward with them. Chariot. There you go. Both aligned, both destined, both understanding, both exactly in the right place at the right time to now move forward together, balance, temperance. And you have worked on yourself, Capricorns. You also are aligned with yourself and you also understand now who you are, what your values are, what your boundaries are and what who you want as a person, as a relationship in your life. What type of person corresponds to you, right? Their values, their qualities that you know now what you want. You know what's good for you, right? You know that those energies are your energies, both of you, to move forward. And the chariot, the third card that can be moving physically. You're definitely moving mentally together, right? You're moving together in the right direction, for sure, and might be moving comment down below if this is a, a reading that corresponds to you this person is coming in very fast let me know don't forget to give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these readings and all general signs are up for the month of may if you're interested in those yes look at this your prince charming or princess charming not gender specific turning your dreams into reality this is someone that wants to embark you on a beautiful journey can be something yes look at this they keep coming out the lovers the lovers understanding your values making choices in your life to be with this person you are made for each other you are made for each other this person is coming in capricorn to unite or reunite but i don't see an ex i uh, but i do think that this person might be involved in your career uh, or someone you meet at work or someone you that offers you a career opportunity and and that at the same time you you um start a relationship it is possible it is possible because we have the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles this is someone you look up to this is someone you you see as a mentor maybe potentially it doesn't have to be before it becomes a relationship it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. But I, I do have a sense that it has been uh, something, yes, work-related. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Working together. Building together. Discussing. Um, organizing oneself to move forward. And this is a work environment. Career environment. Lots of, lots of, um, lots of discussions and seven of seven of cups lots of choices lots of decisions to be made right to make to move this forward but they're destined to make this happen you're both destined to make this happen okay let's see yes all right these cards keep coming out uh but I'm just going to pull them. You're waiting to embark on that journey. You're perfectly ready. They are perfectly ready. Three of Wands. You're waiting to embark. Again, fourth card that you could be moving physically. You're celebrating. You're happy. You're celebrating with friends. This is something you have wished for. This is something you wanted. And you're really happy to celebrate. Celebrate with this person. And celebrate with your friends. And we finish with the... 
the devil, which is very strong, a mutual physical, physical attraction, passion, passionate, uh, borderline obsessive, but it, it just means that you're, you're, you're in the honeymoon phase, right? It's the beginning of a beautiful love connection, a beautiful partnership, lovers, partnership in love, partnership in values, partnership in life, and partnership in starting this new, beautiful life journey. Let's see if there's anything else to, add. okay, there we go. Knight of Pentacles, slowly but surely, a little contradictory. So what I think, it might not be the energies, it might be you, Capricorn, don't be stubborn. The Knight of Pentacles can sometimes say that, you know, we're stubborn or we see in a, things in a certain way and sort of halt halt and not don't want to move forward right and i think capricorn that you might be reflecting right and and being a little scared because this is going a little too fast right and and you need to uh you might stop and reflect and wonder is this going too fast this is my life if is this my person uh because they want to move very fast they come in change your life, offer you new, a new opportunity, want to move with you, start, build long-term, long-term success and long-term financial security. And this is a little much for you, maybe Capricorn, right? And so you, you're, it's, you know, you're a little frazzled and you're, you know, you're, 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 st you're, you're taking a moment to take it all in and make a decision, right? But don't be stubborn because this person, after what you have gone through, this person is a beautiful, beautiful energy coming in, starting a new journey. Very good. Beautiful reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Capricorns. Again, thank you so much for your love, your help, your shares, your comments, and your, your, your likes. And for, for, for helping me moving this uh, channel forward, thank you so much. Uh, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.